Okay, so in this demo, what I'm going to do is just simply uh, put a picture of a cat on this page and demonstrate that by shrinking the picture of the cat, we increase the PPI of that image. So first of all, I'm just going to put placeholder square there, rectangle for it. Um, what I'll do is, first of all, we'll have a look at the characteristics of the cat. So this is the image I want to use. Uh, under details, you can see that it's 1900 by 1266. So we will use that, and I will go get out of that. I will go File, Place, grab the cat. Cat goes in there. Now, if you have a look over to the right here, you can see a links panel. So I'll unclick that. I might just shrink this down a little as well, so we can have a little more space on the screen. And if you scroll down a little bit and have a look down here, you'll see effective PPI. This is the number you want to look at. So this number, if you recall from the notes, needs to really be at around the 150 to 200 mark. And at the moment, it's only 72. So what we want to do is we can see that the frame wasn't big enough to hold the cat because there's too much information. It's spread over too big an area. So what we need to do is shrink down the actual size of the cat so it fits into that rectangle, and you'll see this effective PPI going up. Uh, I will just um, change the display a little so that we see a bit more of the screen. I will go to my selection tool, double click on the cat, and this rectangle out here represents the entire picture of the cat. This is just the window that we can see of it. So I'm going to shift drag so that it proportionally changes it. And I'm going to bring it over here. So you can see the cat shrunk. And if you go over to here, you can see the effective PPI is now 155. And what that means is that this cat now has enough resolution, at least, um, for the PPIs to be uh, high enough to be print quality. And if we were to shift, drag a little more, and shrink it down even further, you'll see that number goes up and up and up. So you want to keep an eye on your effective PPI to make sure that you have enough information in each picture to make it magazine worthy.